I guess just kind of what are your thoughts on the two big duels coming up this weekend? Well, both, uh, I think both dual meets are, are going to be competitive. I mean, I think Northern Iowa, I'm not sure exactly what they're ranked. Um, good competitors, hard. They wrestle hard. They've always wrestled hard. Um, and I think Iowa State will be, I think, probably our biggest challenge um, all year. Not taking anything away from North Carolina or what our team, how our team performed there, but um, this is a team that you know we're going to have to have upsets, and if we don't, we can't win. Until the, you know, as of now, where we're at, uh, I think we got a chance to be a, a lot better. You know, in seven weeks from now, uh, but uh, for now, where we're at, this will be our toughest test. There's no question. It, it, a good team and a balanced team. With as new as your group is, as young as your group is, are you kind of intrigued to see how they're going to respond to, to the challenge that this weekend? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think we can wrestle really well and, and have a, maybe struggle with a win, you know. Uh, but uh, I will say that um, you know, don't ever count us out. We'll be, we'll be in the middle of it. Are there any guys here? Specifically, eager to see. Come here, speak up. Are there any guys you're eager to see specifically? On the other teams. On yours against Iowa State. On the other team or our team? Yours. What was the question? Are, are there any of your guys you're excited to see wrestle this weekend? Oh, okay. I apologize. I can't hear very well. Um, yeah, like all ten of them. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're still. We're still developing, you know, and we've got several young guys that are developing right now, trying to build some confidence. I've got some older guys that we know that uh, for us to have a competitive run at anything, um, uh, fix, even though, you know, I, I, I want to see every one of his match. I want to I'll probably be in a little bit more um, picky on what I want to see with him right now, um, as well as Isaac um, and, and Plot. I just, you know, those guys right now, they they're, they're, they got to lead by example, you know, and, and when, when those guys, when those guys talk, our, our guys are listening. So um, I like to see certain things happening from those three in their matches, you know. Obviously, all of them got competitive matches this week. John, is, is Sammy about where you expect him to be? Or are you, is he surpassing your expectations? Or what are you seeing out of him? And is he where you expect him to be? Um, you know, one thing, make clear whoever I wrestle this week, that's not a finalized weight class for us. Um, yeah, I think he's he's knows that um, it's time to challenge himself a little bit. You know, I mean, here you are at the end of your career, and um, it's time to challenge yourself and ask something out of yourself and actually play a role on a team that, that, that you can help. You know, and I think a lot of a lot of his uh, you know personal outings in the last couple of weeks um, he has placed the team as a motivator to, to wrestle well and so um, it's about time good for him we need more of that you know and he's showing up early for practice leaving late doing a lot of things it's pretty exciting bad guy wrestles well we'll, we'll win how do you handle two duels in 24 hours it's not a big deal, you know. It's like the NCAA championship. You wrestle the Big Twelve. You wrestle. You wrestle in the evening. Uh, you know, Big Twelve, Big uh, National Championships. You wrestle in the morning. You wrestle in the evening. You come back the next morning, weigh in, wrestle in the morning. You know, it's not. There's no disadvantage to it. Um, uh, and so, um, if anything, uh, it's probably an advantage. I think both teams are going to go through Oklahoma, right? Wrestle Oklahoma, so I think they're both teams are doing the same. 
Russell in the evening and then the afternoon or six o'clock the next day. It's actually nice to have it. Yeah, it gives people a weekend here that they don't have to wait uh, a full day between matches fr Friday and Sunday. If I had my preference, it'd always be Friday, Saturday. Leave Sunday alone, but it's, I don't get my way most of the time. John, going back to Sandy just a little bit, how did he handle that period where, or the, the first semester in eligibility? What did that look like for him? Well, just, you know, just lack of motivation a little bit, you know. Um, you know just when you can't wrestle, it makes it a little tougher. It's challenging both mentally and, and emotionally. And, got to keep it together because you've got to train hard during that time you know and so um, it's it's easy to it's easy to make wrong decisions when you're when uh, oh when you're emotional and and not not things aren't getting coming through you know I mean there was a lot of things that we wanted to get done with him a lot quicker and it just didn't materialize and so you know what do you do well you got to train you got to keep your focus and, and I think uh as he, uh, hey coach, as he um, um, realized that uh, he was going to get eligible, I think it was really a, a, a motivation for him to get going, get moving, and find a way to help the team. Help the team was, was the key for him. I think he's ever really wrestled on a team that I've seen him in the last uh, couple of dual meets, uh, matches that he didn't wrestle. I, I've seen his excitement about being there in the team wrestling well. So it's good to see him wrestling for the team. So that whole semester, was he ineligible or were you guys just ineligible? ineligible? Um, I, don't, I don't think it was ineligible academic. It wasn't ineligible academically. It was, it was a matter of transfer. Yeah. So why was it only a semester and not, let's say, a year? Because I know a bunch of times guys have to sit back and meet. You know, you've got to be really careful about talking about somebody's academic part of it. You know? So just say this, uh, kind of a weird deal that really didn't, wasn't based on his, wasn't, wasn't, was not based on his academics, okay? It was more based on, the transfer and, and um, when he took the transfer. Chris Bradley, he's been a guy who's kind of you got you guys started off pretty well. Um, how have you seen him respond from that in on Sunday? Well, I, uh, hopefully, I just kind of embarrassed by it, and, and uh, I'm not embarrassed. I don't think you should ever be embarrassed, around, but pissed, mad, angry. I want to do something about it, but. Embarrassing, uh, being embarrassed is not a good word. You should never be embarrassed. It's too hard of a sport to be embarrassed. So let's take that, that word and toss it and say, hey, we need to be uh, angry about getting pinned. We need to be motivated in the room about getting pinned. You know? Let's uh, find a way to do a better job as we go into this week. And, and I think uh, he's pretty consistent in the room. You know, I, uh, I think some of these guys, the young guys that, that we got, you know, you just want to speed up their, their mentality a little bit, grab them and going, you know, let's, let's become this, you know. And, and sometimes we just got to go through some experiences before what I want to see, you know. And so we got a chance of going through some things in the next seven matches that, that can help us a lot. And, and as you look at the schedule, uh, you see it. Uh, highly competitive schedule that I think probably nobody's got one going to go through what we're going to go through, which is an opportunity for us. Does that competition at 149, has that pushed both those guys to get yeah. better? Clean up, work out, everything. Show up on time. Um, if it doesn't motivate you, then you're not that, uh, in, uh, not that hungry to be competing you know so uh, yeah it's it's motivated uh, uh, both of them and and you know, the, you know can't can't relax you know um, you 
relax and you and you look like uh, you're going through the motions, uh, it's not good. And for Plot, it's obviously a, a big weekend, like you mentioned earlier. For for what he went through last week and, and being able to find a way and win that match, can that provide him some confidence? You think moving into into this week? Well, I don't think he could have done that in the past. You know, I think uh, his experiences. Uh, have been tough. Some of them have been really tough, especially physically. And, um, his experience is really, a, a, he's grown to being a, a, a much tougher individual, both both mentally and physically on the mat. And, um, it, it was just good to see. I mean, uh, in the past, I'm not sure you could have got anything close to that. It's good to see him get healthy, uh, get over the problems he had last week and uh, and take a crack at number one, right? John, how have you seen this being around a younger team, and, uh, having the Wayne thought of it being his last hurrah, have you seen those things rejuvenate Dayton at all? This year? Oh, I think he's enjoying it, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's not a, really a verbal guy in the, in the room. Um, but I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing him really become uh, focused on where he knows he's going to have to win, you know, which, uh, and that's taking people down, you know, and getting off the mat. Uh, his, his offense seems to have really gotten better in the last month, and I think there's a reason for it, and a lot of it is his energy that he's putting in, you know, and, I, and it's good to see that uh, some of our freshmen that he goes with um, get a chance to uh, feel him and, and learn from him, you know. And so um, he's in a good place right now, you know. I thought his one of his best matches I've seen was uh, last week. And I'm talking about in the career. A lot of offense.